Hello everyone, this is your man Hudman. Welcome back to my channel. This time we're going to do a review, but we're going to do a review on a Roman Reigns action figure, but it's a little twist. Now, the twist is that they took wrestler figures, wrestlers, real, real live wrestlers, and they put them in the Turtles title uh, realm. Now, I think Mattel did this before. I can't really remember, but you're getting you're getting your wrestling figures that you like and your turtles and I guess it's more like a parody how you would think who or what, what your wrestling figures would look if they was a part of the teenage Ninja Turtle turtle um, um, line or time period or in the same zone or if if wrestlers took over. The turtles and came the turtles. That's how I. That's how I'm gonna look at it. So here's all the rest. Here's the side of the box. Here's the back of the box. And the one I would like to get is the um the Cody Rhodes is uh, made up like um Casey Jones. I seen these. You know the Ray Mysterio one. Um uh uh uh, uh um. Uh, I can't think of the name of this group right now. Um. Uh, the New Day and stuff like that. I seen them, but I never had a Roman Reigns action figure. So I figured, well, I'm not the biggest, the most biggest turtle fan, but I do like the turtles. Um, I like Shredder and all them, those type of characters, offbeat characters for me. And I figured, well, it's one on one. I can get a figure that I don't, I don't like. And plus, at the target I went to. I think it was 20% off at that time. I don't know if they're still 20% off by the time I post this video. But at that time, they was 20% off. And if you notice, it still says uh, Nickelodeon right there. Now, you do have um, this, uh, the two FX um, lighting. You also got the little WWE um, um, sign with the little um, storage. You like it. You like it been like, kind of open. It got the, the nutrition also on there. A little bit of bricking also on the sides. Um, it does have Roman Reigns on there and everything. So I'm showing the, the package of what it is. It looked like to me it's going to be a very cool figure. I'm not going to really go too much or articulate it on a wrestling figure, but I'm going to give you a lot of origin what I know about Roman Reigns so you can get it. So you might just, you might be a Turtle fan. You might be a Shredder fan. You might be uh, uh, whatever. And you probably be like, well, I'm not really that big of a wrestling fan, so this might want to, maybe want to get a chance to maybe want to get one. So if I if so, I give you an origin who Roman Reigns is, especially for people who does not watch wrestling. Um, and I know it's a lot of people who don't watch wrestling, and for whatever reason why. And before we even get into the origin of Roman Reigns or the or, or, or the figure itself, let me explain wrestling to you for a little bit. And then this is going to be called this, the part of the shooting breeze. And I'm going to pause and go away. And I'll come back. I'm going to explain wrestling to you for a little bit. Wrestling is to me is probably, and I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, it's fake. Excuse me. <laughs> um, wrestling is not fake. And you can say, well, what you mean, hard man? Wrestling's not fake. Wrestling is as real as it need to be. Yes, wrestling can be where it's controlled. Just like how it can be controlled when you see Chris Evans playing Captain America or um, or Ryan Downey Jr. playing Iron Man or any anybody playing any type of other type of character out there in the world. That's wrestling. Yes, these guys, these men and women do protect each other, and that's what they do. But also in wrestling, accidents do happen. They're close. They're, they're co-workers, and which is expected for this. And you got it's like it's like to me wrestling. It's like going to a play. If you're a person who like plays, whatever type of play it is, I don't know. I, I don't. I, ha, I I can't. I don't know what the newest play out there. But it's like like a play, and that's what it is. They they make sure that 
they, 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 each other, each other wrestler is protected and and when they move, and they try to sell it to make you look good, to make you look good, and you be entertained. And that's all it is. So don't try to always look down. I'm not trying to push you to love wrestling or like wrestling, but don't put don't put it down. Just enjoy it for what it is. And I can't force you to love it or enjoy it, but it's entertaining. And it's fun. And it takes, you can get away from the real world sometimes for an hour or two or sometimes longer. And and it takes you to a fantasy world. We know, we know the Undertaker. We know Undertaker is not a half dead man. I know that um, uh, 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 um, um, a lot of these characters not really like that. But the point is, it's fun and it's entertaining. And enjoy it. And if you don't want to enjoy it, I don't I can't, can't force you. If you want to unsubscribe from my page, you don't want to be even look at my videos no more. Because what I'm saying, it's understandable. I get you. You know, it's a little. It's something I've been watching for a long time. So that's my part of shooting the breeze. I want to pause, go away, and we're gonna see if this Roman figure as cool as it is in the box, out of the box. And then, if you come back and watch it. You might change your mind. You might like you might think it's a cool figure, or you might not. But I'm just like me. I'm just here to try to give you a little bit of entertainment and a little bit of what's going on. And this is my little industry of world of hit or collecting. And I'll be back. All right, guys, we bought. We got everything out of the packaging. But before we get into the review of the figure. And first, you know, the sexy part of the review of the figure, when you take out the cape, it's going to be a little split right, right there, the way the back of the cape is going to be in. So be very careful when you take that out so you won't have to rip it or anything or you try to put tug on, tug on it. And his feet is going to be pretty much zip tied in with these little things right there. So when you try to pull them out, because the top part is going to come out really easy with no problem, and his feet going to be dangled in there. So you might want to get a pair of scissors to do, to, to do that part. So this one, just want to tell you that when you, um, when you, if you buy this figure and you, and you take it out of the packaging, to be careful you so you won't break his feet or anything like that. Or rip, or rip the cape. So we're going to go to accessories. Now, some of the stuff that he, they come on with him, and a lot of it he did not. Um, so I just took everything off because I'm gonna look at it as, as accessories because you can take it off him. Um, he does come with his. Um, I don't know how to exactly how they really say this in wrestling, but um, the I'm going to try to explain it so we can understand it because a lot of y'all not into wrestling so, and the ones who are will get it. Now, the role that Roman Reigns is playing, he's playing where he's a um, head of the table, you know, where because actually in real life he is a real, a real, a real Samoan, and as being a real Samoan, they count count people to to be um, uh, the head of that that of the of the tribe. And he will be more like a head of that tribe. And this is what they wear when you're a head of the tribe. And everything. You try to help the you try to help out your um the, the people, you know, and everything, because you you're 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 here to travel with chief, chief, chief. And that's the role as he plays in um wrestling. It's a very good role. Um just recently he did break um well, not well. I think he's one of the one of the most, one of the longest reigning heavyweight champion in the WWE until last year when he went against um, Cody Rhodes, who finally beat him for the belt. I think he been. I think at that at that time period, from the time he got the belt until now, he was like the heavyweight champion for like over two years. There was an outstanding run. Um. Um, he has his uh, real live um, 
family members is with him as part of being the uh, travel chief, uh, Samoan travel chief, and also, and um, their names are they are real twins, Jay Uso and Jimmy Uso. Um, I do not have those figures. Maybe one day I'll get a chance to get those figures and you, you can see them. Now, after he lost the belt going against um, Cody Rhodes, the 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 blood they they call this up the bloodline, and by being the bloodline, now his the they Jay Uso younger brother, um, I can't think of his name right now is is want to be the new travel travel chief. But Roman Reigns won his power back after he lost the belt. So we're going to have a lot of other issues. So this was just supposed to be the, the, the point of him of being the tribal chief. That's why he wears that. Um, you do get the Shredder um, type of cape. Now, as you notice, these are removable. Very soft plastic around here. You can, I'm going to show you how they go on. Um, you do get the, um, his Roman, Roman Reigns... Um, um, signature uh, uh, um, logo on the back. You do come the little, little mouthpiece. Now the mouthpiece is going to be put on him with a little a little rubber bands. Anybody who collects, you know what I'm talking about, little rubber bands. And you do get um, um, some extra set of hands right there. You get. Actually, six sets of hands. Two is gonna come on in the packaging, and the other four. Now he does. Now his signature move that he does. Now he started another group a long time ago. Go. Now he came from um, NXT. Now NXT is a part of the WWE, but the only way I could probably can explain NXT is um, it's like um. You having a, your big your your big name team up, and you're coming through the the other organization to come to get on the main team. Pretty much only I can explain it. But he didn't want to get before he came to Travel Chief and everything else to really get him started into wrestling. He was a part of a group called the Shield, and the Shield is three other guys that was well actually excuse me it was actually three guys together him. He was like the power guy, and you had um, other two other guys with him. And she was, they was more, um, how can I explain them? There was like a, 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 a riot, like they, they, not riot, but it was like, a, they were just two guys who just want to take over wrestling and just dominate wrestling. It, it, it's, it's a fun thing. You got to watch it. You, you can catch it on um, uh, YouTube. YouTube. You can just type in The Shield and, and you can watch it. I, if I can find it and wait, I can post it. You can see a little bit of it on here as I post the video. But you do get that and you get the mouthpiece and stuff. So that's all the accessories. And I know I've been blasting. I didn't even show off the figure. So here's Roman Reigns out of the packaging, guys. Right there, he do got the uh the symbol on his on on his side. Now he does not have that in real life at all, but these um these are real Samoan tattoos that you do get. That's on his side, right there, all the way around. Is you know the real Samoan tattoos. His hair is pretty much like that, but when he's not really resting, he mostly keep it up in the in a bun, you know, like that. Um. This cloth piece, I was, I'm not, I'm not really sure it could be removable. I think it could be removable. Right there, here at the back of the figure, and there's more of his tribal chief um, symbols also on the back. The real life tattoos also on the back, and everything. Uh, I'm trying to give you as much information and keep it go and keep the flow going. Um, i this piece right here is also removable, and one of his signature moves that he does, he does what they call the um Superman punch, and this is the hand that he used for the uh the Superman punch right there. Um, and everything. I said I wouldn't go through articulation, but um, I'm gonna flow through as fast as I can, and this is how his face look. On there, he doesn't always have a more. He has a more of a neutral face, but I, most time you see this type of face like that is more when he's like really kind of uh, disgusted or upset. So I'm going to go through articulation smoothly and quickly as possible. 
Um, the hair is on the soft, very soft, but it can go left and right. Not too much up and down, not too much attitude. You can get the arm to go that far up on this side. Um, uh, 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 I guess say thighs will go. Um, you can get the, uh, the shoulders move about that far. Double elbow all the way up. You do get a hinge on the hand in and out. This piece is also movable. You can get the um, your basic uh, articulation on um, air crunches you get on most of your wrestling figures. You can get about one click forward, one click about one class, about a half click back. You can get this on also go up to that way. You can get a, 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 a waist twist right there. You can get a thigh swivel, um, double knees. Uh, I was going to say pinless, but the, the, the pins do blend in really good um, and everything. Um, do you get a calf? Um, I, I always say all my, all my wrestling figures, when you get down to the, um, the ankles, always be mindful that the ankles, they they do, they will be stiff. If you're going to move them, my suggestion to is to warm them up before you move them. Because if not, they're going to be stiff as a board. And you, very rarely you get this. You also have toe articulation. And you do have two peg holes at the bottom of the feet. Um, all around, I think it's a cool figure. The representative of how he looks. only thing I don't really like is I think the toe articulation do make the feet look a tad too long. And there's a nice, a, too much of a gap right here I don't like. But all around, I think it's a cool figure. I think it's, um, if you are a person who's into the turtles, I think it's a, a buy. You get it. You can put it You can put it with your wrestling figures. You can put it with your turtle figures. You can mix it in. You can't really mix it in too much with your Marvel Legends because th th these, most of your, um, your Mattel figures do come out on a more of the uh, seven inch scale. Um, but I'm going to put the, um, the, the, uh, the cape on. And let's see if I can put it on. It's going to clip around more like the shoulder blade like this. Like here. And also more like here. Oh, I'll mean, put it more like more like I think more like that. More like that. You can put the mask piece. Now, we actually, believe it or not, I just, I, just, I just thought about it. As he was, was a part of the shield, I think it was one time he did have this on. Because in another one of his nicknames, he's the, um, they call the Big Dog. Because he was, he, like, it's only, he's like one of the few wrestlers also beat um, The Undertaker at WrestleMania. It was him and um, Brock Lesnar. So it so it was like a thing when he went against the Undertaker. He was like, "This is my yard now." That was another one, one of the things he did. Also, um, and I'm gonna put this on. I wish I could really name that, but all around, I think it's a cool figure. Um, do do if Target still has the twenty percent off? If you want to pick it up, go ahead and get it. Cause I think mine only came. It was nineteen and change. Most most figures at this at this day and age is about 20, 25 and up. So I got it for nineteen and change. So I thought I didn't think I thought it was a really good deal. And plus, you got to think about it, it's also dealing with um a, 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 a two major um names. You know, you got wrestling. You got you got Nickelodeon, and you know that's a lot of stuff you have to um put in, in into play and you, and you got it and so I think it's a, I think if you want it buy it if you don't want it it's a, it's a pass um I wanted it and I, I I enjoy it I think it's a cool figure I couldn't wait to get it I couldn't wait to even do the review on it I posted normally I'd be laying down in the bed but I wanted to get this review up for y'all guys so bad so I can oh I this one reason no reason to open it up and put it on my shelf um so everybody have a good day good night Enjoy your collection. Thank you for taking the time out of listening to me, me shooting a breeze for you and and maybe ranting a little bit. I do apologize for that. 
but when you're passionate about something that, that you enjoy or whatever it is, it doesn't have to be wrestling. It could be anything. Sometimes you get a little passionate. And you just let, you, you let that passion just flow. And I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's a good thing. So everybody have a good day. Good night. Enjoy your collection. And I'll talk to you guys again, whatever you may want to be on. Or just want to shoot the breeze or rant. And um, you have a good one. And thank you for my new subscribers. My channel is growing slowly, and I'm surprised. I've been on YouTube for, um, believe it or not, over 12 years. Um, but I'm happy with what I have. You know, I'm happy with the people I've met on YouTube. And that's all, folks. Thank you.